Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, New Zealand's ambitions to be a green hydrogen superpower are making real progress. But first up, we should note that today is a national holiday in the US, Juneteenth, commemorating the end of slavery, an end that started in Texas in 1865. Until last year, it had only been a regional holiday. Meanwhile, Chinese authorities reviewed their prime loan rates yesterday and left them unchanged. In late May, their Premier released a 33-point rescue package to avoid an economic contraction in the second quarter of 2022. But rate hikes by global central banks make it difficult for them to ease monetary policy to boost a weak domestic economy. However, analysts do expect rate cuts in the second half of 2022 anyway. And the impact of that package of stimulus measures hasn't kicked in yet. This weakness is showing up in Chinese consumer sentiment. The latest data released officially is for April, and that showed the survey reporting a very sharp drop in confidence from a positive 13 in March to a negative 13 in April. In a record that goes back to 1991, we have never seen a plunge like this in their official survey. Kudos for them for actually releasing such survey data that shows a vast leakage in confidence in the Middle Kingdom. After a surprise dip in April, Taiwanese export orders bounced back to $55 billion and 6% higher than a year ago. Orders from American and Asian customers were very strong. They were very weak from China and have been all year a traditional source of strength for them. In key progress for Southland, Southern Green Hydrogen, a joint venture between Contact Energy and Meridian, has announced that Western Australia's two largest miners will enter final negotiations to develop what could be the world's largest green hydrogen plant with a reported cost of about $5 billion. The US Treasury 10-year yield has started the week unchanged at 3.23%. And the price of gold ended yesterday at $1,836 an ounce, and that's down $4. And oil prices a little changed from this time yesterday at just over $108.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is still just over $112 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will open today at just on 63.2 US cents and 20 basis points firmer than this time yesterday. Against the Australian dollar, we're also holding at 91.1 Australian cents and against the euro we're holding at 60.2 euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index started today at just under 71.3, again solely due to the retreating greenback. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston and that was 98.9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.